Today's video is sponsored by filterby.com. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss this. Hey everybody, I'm Izzy and welcome back to the shop. Today we're talking about air filtration systems. We're talking about a traditional air filtration system versus a box fan. And the results may surprise you. They surprised the heck out of me. This is actually the second time I started recording this. I started recording it and I stopped because I really wanted to do some research. You know, I've seen a lot of videos with folks with just using a box fan with a filter on it and I wanted to know how good they are. I mean, come on, it's a filter and a box fan. How good could it possibly be? So I did my homework and what I, some of the things I learned about air quality are crazy. So if you live in the country and you go out and breathe that nice, natural, clean air, it's not as clean as you think it is. And if you live in a city, oh, just wow. <laughs> all right, so first of all, let's take a look at our traditional air purification system, or air cleaning system. This is about $125. It's a Wen off of Amazon. It's about the cheapest you can get. It pushes 400 CFM. So what that means is one cubic foot of air. It pushes 400 of those every minute or so. There is a pleated filter on the front here. This is about a MERV 8, and then it has a bag filter, which can catch up to, I think, one, one micron. Some really nice features about this is it has a high, mid, and low setting, and it also has a timer, so you can turn it on from two to four hours, and a remote control, so you can hang it on the ceiling, so you can hang it on the ceiling and not have to worry about climbing up there to turn it on and off. This is a box fan, a $20 box fan. If you add a filter to this, or two filters, it pushes about 540 CFM. 140 more than this. I'm not kidding. I read a bunch of articles on this, and I'll post a link to one of those articles below, the one with the most specs on it. A box fan and a couple air filters. Filters more air than this does. So a typical filter looks like this. It's pleated because that more than doubles the surface area. So it has a lot more filter area to catch all the particles coming through. It has the metal on the back, that's for electrostatic. Small particles are electrically statically charged. So they're attracted to this, that helps catch more particles. And this particular one has charcoal on it or carbon. This really helps with mold spores, it helps with allergies, and it helps with smells. And if you work in a wood shop and you use different types of species of wood, sometimes they smell good, sometimes they don't. But that's pretty nice. I want to take a quick second and show some love for filterby.com, the sponsors of today's videos. What's really cool about them is if you're anything like me and you forget to change your filters all the time, you can set up a subscription service with them. And right now you'll save 5% when you do. And your filters will just show up regularly when they show up, you change them into set it and forget it situation. Now they're a family owned business. Everything's made right here in the US. They have over 600 sizes in stock and they can custom make them. So that is super cool. They actually custom made some for me, which I'm gonna be using a lot of. But don't forget, changing your filters often and regularly can save you a ton of money on your energy costs and can keep you from having to replace an air conditioning system. Ouch. Filter by awesome concept i will be using you guys for the rest of my life that's just going to make it so much easier for me to remember to change my filters and to get the filters i need so let's talk a little bit more about this if i wanted to take a box fan and get real fancy with it i could but quite honestly one of these like a charcoal filter and this is a merv 8 and if i take another one at a merv 11 or so pop this on here i am going to get the same quality filtration as this is for way less money. You can duct tape these on if you want to. So I've seen a lot of guys make some really fancy systems for it, which is cool. And I've seen them cut out the back of this right where the motor is. You don't really need to do that, and here's why. Because of the way the box fan is designed, you'll have the fan blade goes right here, so at each of these corners, there's kind of an air gap. It'll pull enough air behind the fans to get to the motor to keep it cool. You don't have to worry about overheating. 
far as longevity goes, I have a friend who had four box fans with filters and a mesh filter, pre-filter, a pre-filter mesh filter in his spray booth for the last 10 years. And the fans have not broken down. Not one of them, they've been running and running and running. So uh, you, can't, you can't really argue with longevity. All the box fans that I have have run for a very long time. So again, cheaper, plenty of longevity, super simple and does more CFMs. So let's talk about CFMs for a minute. If you're in a shop, let's say it's a 20 foot by 20 foot garage, all right, so that's 400 square feet. So if you have eight foot ceilings, for every foot you go up, that's another 400 square feet or square CFMs. So this thing would take eight minutes to clear the air in your shop. This thing would do faster than that. And for the affordability, if you had two of these, you could do the air in your shop every two and a half to three minutes. If you have three of them, you get the gist. Now I want all the air in my shop to be filtered about every minute and a half to two minutes. And I have some more air filtration systems. I have this one, I have a bigger one sitting up there, and I'm gonna have a few fans around. If I had to do it again, probably just fans. There may be some of you screaming at your TVs right now or computers right now saying it's not true. I'm going to leave you a link to the article that I read all about this, the one with the most technical specs. And I really think, you know, for if you're concerned about the air quality in your shop, it's definitely worth checking out. They have some great suggestions on it. So I don't think I'll ever buy another air filtration system again. Not when I can go down to any store and pick up a box fan. I don't even know what to say. If you would have told me three days ago, I'd be telling you this right now, I'd say, yeah, right. But anyway, the results don't lie. Uh, thank you very much for watching today's video. I know this wasn't a build video, but I think this is one of those things that's super important to talk about. A big thank you to Filter By. Uh, definitely go check those them out, guys. When you support my sponsors, you're supporting me. That helps create more content. Now we have a lot of fun projects coming up, lots of cool, lots of crazy cool builds coming up and you're not going to want to miss those. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have something that you want to add to this, I'd love to see what you have to say. If you know more about this than I do, which I'm sure there's lots of you that do, post a comment in the description box below. We'd love to hear it. In the meantime, check out these other videos, breathe easy, and we'll talk to you soon.